As it nears the supermassive black hole at our galaxy's heart, the probe is at the mercy of one of the most fundamental forces in the universe. A force with the power to twist space and send the probe traveling through time. Gravity is something incredibly commonplace. We're always dropping things, you know, we're not flying off the surface of the Earth. It's a part of our lives from the moment that we're born. But it turns out it's a very mysterious and deep part of the universe. When something has mass, it has the ability to bend space. Before Einstein's theory of general relativity, scientists imagined space as a stage set on which the action played out. Einstein's genius was to realize that space itself was an actor in the drama. We tend to think of space as just the stuff around us, but it's, it's actually kind of a thing. It has a physical component to it, like a fabric, like a sheet. In empty space, light travels in a straight line. But place something massive, like our sun, on the fabric of space, and its immense gravity warps space. As light travels past the sun, its straight path curves. So light bends, not because the light bends, but the space in which the light is traveling curves itself. This is why our probe's trajectory is curving. The black hole's gravity is warping the fabric of space. Everything that travels through this curved space must follow a curved path, including light. The amazing thing is that not only does gravity warp the light into the black hole, light coming from farther away gets bent around it. And so you could see this shimmering distortion in the stars in the background as a black hole moved in front. It would almost be like taking a piece of glass and moving it across the star field. And it's not just space that the black hole is bending. Time is warping too. So if we send a probe going into a black hole, from our point of view, we see it falling in, and we see it falling in more and more slowly because its clock is ticking slower and slower and slower. That's a bizarre concept, and it's really hard to wrap our brains around, but that is what the math and physics are telling us. We experience time as hours, minutes, and seconds. It seems straightforward. But time is relative. It changes depending on where you are. It seems to the viewer that this shot has a picture of a moment in time and a moment in space. But it's actually not a moment in space and a moment in time. It's spread out in space because there's some depth of field behind me. But it's also spread out in time because the light from the whiteboard behind me left the whiteboard a little bit earlier than the light from my face. So when you see an image, you're really seeing something that's spread out in space and time. So when gravity distorts space, it also alters time. Change the amount of gravity you're experiencing, and time shifts too. <laughs> 